One thing students do poorly is they treat chemical equations like text. The chemical equation needs to be on one line, so instead of what I've got on screen now, make it one line all to itself. I can then modify this so that it looks like a real chemical equation. Here I've made these into subscripts down below. I made an arrow in the middle. Last thing I want to do is center this. So I'll format this and align it so it's centered. That's a nice equation. I'll show you how to do the subscripts on the next slide. The key word you want to learn about is subscripts. I'll type an equation here. I'm just typing it out um, fairly simply. I am now going to use an arrow. I'll insert a special character. You can see a lot of arrows come up. I can choose one from here. I can also do this where I'll say I, I want an arrow and uh, then it will help me choose and I have all these arrows to choose from. I'll choose this nice big one here. So you see I have an arrow. Uh, let's see I'll get CA parentheses OH2 plus 2NACL. All right, so this is now when I want to make a subscript. I'll highlight the two. I can format. Subscript is a choice. Boom, it looks great. There is a shortcut key. I can just type control with the comma. There it is. Oh, made a mistake. Do it again. There it is. So if you want to put the number up high, then it's control period. Control comma down below, period, up high, down low, up high, down low. There you go. This is how you do it. Insert your special character here. Make your subscripts here. Format subscript right there.